With no monsters on the field, I summon Jerry Beans, man, and attack for game. Welcome to another video. And a bunch of you have been saying, look, I want you to play the Super Ancient Deep Sea King with the goaties. Alright, I caved. I finally did it. Let's check it out. First off, we got a lot of ways to do this combo, but this is the same classic way as before. You're going to get a lifeless leaf fish on the field, and you're going to get another level 4 on the field, and you're going to send the Deep Sea King to the graveyard. So let's get our level 4. View Tuneful. Banish yourself with 1 for 1. Lifeless leaf fish. Send a Super Ancient Deep Sea King to the graveyard. Now there are a dozen and a half ways to do this in the deck. That's why we got Small World to search. I'll explain it all at the end, all the different ways. But all you got to know is you get the Deep Sea King in the graveyard and you make your rank 4 Xe. So we send him to the graveyard and we execute Xe4 into the Dugaras. And I know why you're here. You want to know what's the best combo to make with the Super Ancient Deep Sea King and Goaties. Just I'm going to show you right now. Let's go. Activate Dugaras. You got to put him in the extra monster zone. Very important. You got your Deep Sea King on the field. And now you go ham. Discard a card. Summon four fish, okay? Now, two of them don't matter. The other two, Silent, Angler, and the Rep Dolphin. If you draw this, it's game over. Restart. <laughs> you need this. You need to draw this from the deck. So if you draw this in your hand, bad things are happening. All right. Now that we got all these cards, we're going to go into a new card. The World Sea Dragon Zealanis. And we're going to hold on to this for later, all right? So pay attention. Next, we're going to use these two monsters. The Rep Dolphin and our level 4 to make the Monoceros. We're going to resummon. Because these combos, it's all about... It's all about doing it again, all right? This, we done it once. Now, we're going to do it twice. But first, we got to have an extra card to discard. So, we're going to activate Lifeless Leaf Fish in the graveyard. This is very important. Shuffle your Rep Dolphin back. And any other random monsters that you happen to have in hand that you need for your combo, okay? We shuffle them back into the deck. You draw a random card, hopefully not one of the ones that's important. We drew Zep, that's fine. All right, now, activate the Super Ancient Deep Sea King again. We do it again. Now we get the Rep Dolphin back, and now we get the Goaties. We're gonna add a right hand shark. Uh, it doesn't matter the level four, and a Shif. All right, get the Rep Dolphin back. Now, we Synchro into Baron. Then we synchro into the Ariane Post. Ariane Post, banish. We're going to banish Snopios. All right, Snopios. You could also banish Paces if you want to set up both tuners. But we're going to banish Snopios here because Snopios gives us an extra card. Snopios activates. Banish a fish from the graveyard. Banish that shift. Get Snopios back to hand. All right, now, I told you we were saving this World Sea Dragon for later. Let's activate. We're on ladder, by the way. This is Platinum Rank. Opponents, like, sitting through this. Thank you, opponent. I respect you for this. Banish all the monsters on the field. They all come back. Now there's a trick with this guy. I'll teach you later, alright? But for now, finish the combo. Get them all back. They all have to get summoned to main monster zones. And now, uh, we don't want this. We, he's done his job. Let's pop him with Baron. Pop him, get him in the graveyard. And now, he got reset. He's not once per turn. He got exiled and brought back to the field. We discard the Snopios. Do it again. But this time, this time, we get our one copy of Royal Swamp Eel and any level 4. And then we synchro into Borlo. Alright, now we got Borlo with 4 Borlo counters because of that World Sea Dragon. We set whatever our last card is in hand. And then our opponent's turn, we get our fish back to the field. There you go. It's that easy. We got Negate. We got Negate. We got Banish. We got Super Ancient Deep Sea King just chilling. And then we got whatever we had left in our hand. All right, opponent, reinforcements, it's allowed. They're playing, of course, they're playing tier limits. Can tier limits power through this board? All right, Baron, negate, negate the planet. Planet is negated. We don't want them shuffling our cards back in the deck. That is illegal. Get gone, all right, opponent, summoning the Rhino Heart. All right, this is a mistake. I shouldn't activate it right now. You gotta wait till they start fusion summoning, but I got greedy. I got greedy. I activated my shift right now. As can. Gonna banish the Rhino Heart. Opponent gonna fusion summon. We, we missed it. If we waited, if we waited at one chain, uh, we could have banished their fusion summon, but it's all good. Let's banish that. Rhino Heart. Get banishing. We get add in the Silent Angler with our Arianpost effect. 
and our Snopius is coming back. Opponent gets the Kekalos. All right, we're gonna rectify our mistake here. We're banishing the Shift to get Barga Azcan, and our Snopius got banished, so he's coming back too. Snopius come back. Azcan come back. And now, opponent adding a hand. All right, they're adding Shear in a hand now. We sneak the Snopios in. Sneak on in, banishing. We just happen to have a Zep in the graveyard. Targeting the Kikolos with the Snopius effect. Now when it leaves the field, it gets banished instead. Summon that Zep. Synchro summon into the Will. White or a Will. Pop all attack position monsters they control. It gets banished instead. Does not trigger. Opponent activating Sheeran to summon. I don't think so. Boral negate. Opponent, you get nothing. We got a board full of beautiful fishies. And opponent is done. That is how you destroy tier limits. All right. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, hey, that combo seems super fragile. Can you do it a second time? Well, we'll see. Let's go on to the next game. All right. Now, look at this hand. This hand is garbage. We have an upstart goblin, which is very important to this deck. All right. Super Ancient Deep Sea King, we got a Zep, and we got a Butuniful. This hand does nothing, all right? We got a Hope, Heart of the Cards, Upstar Goblin, let's go. Draw a better card. All right, we drew another Upstar Goblin, you know what? All good, Upstar Goblin, again. We do it again, all right. The best, Moray of Greed. This hand will unmess up your garbage hands. Let's activate the Moray of Greed. And there's a reason we have a very high spell count, all right? Stick around, I'll explain everything. All right, our hand is fixed. And I know what you're thinking. Hey, wait a minute. You drew the, the Rep Dolphin. Isn't this, isn't this bad? Well, just because you draw the Rep Dolphin doesn't mean you give up, all right? You just have to do a suboptimal combo. Foolish Barrel Goods, instant level four. Butuniful, also a level four. Fish from the deck. So let's show it off. Foolish Barrel Goods. Send our one copy of Right Hand Shark. Right Hand Shark. Banish or summon itself from the field for, to, for free from the graveyard. Summon the Butuniful, banish itself, get the Lifeless, and there we go, we're set up! We got the level 4 XZ, we got our Super Ancient Deep Sea King in the graveyard. But what do we do when we have Rep Dolphin in hand? What can we do? Well, we activate Dugaris, get our Super Ancient Deep Sea King, discard the Rep Dolphin, summon a bunch of monsters to the field, and now we gotta be tricky, alright? We can't do the line we did before, we gotta improvise. Let's make the World Sea Dragon, leaving the Super Ancient Deep Sea King on the field. World Sea Dragon It's going to let us bounce the Sea King, activate again. And now we can shuffle all our fishes back into the deck, so our Rep Dolphin's back in the, in the deck. Now we can do it again. Activate. Get the World Sea Dragon. Get the Super Ancient Deep Sea King. Get our Lifeless Leaf Fish, and alright. We want our field zones clear so we can get the maximum number of fishes. So what do we do? We link these off, link them off into the Coral Anemone. Now, when we activate Deep Sea King by discarding a card, we can get the Rep Dolphin, we can get two level fours, we can get something else. Then we can just do all sorts of plays. We can use Super Ancient Deep Sea King, get him back from the graveyard with our level seven Synchro. But opponent, not even gonna wait to find out what amazing board we can make. They're done. All right. Let's go, on to the next game. All right, now, if things are going badly and your opponent is going first, I recommend just giving up and going on to the next game because this deck does not really have a strong going second game plan. We are designed to go first and we are designed to go first only. But always rip that maxi in the standby phase. Opponent, what do you got? Opponent scared, scared by the maxi. Set and two passing. All right, what is this hand? What can this hand do? Well, this hand can do goatee plays. <laughs> We're going to try and do Goaty Place. You know, I tried my best to make the combo consistent, but you're not always going to have it. Opponent negating. All right. Pace has banished itself, so Pace is going to come back. We don't get to send Shift to the graveyard, but we have a play. We got a line. All right. We got, we're got. we in this game. Opponent, what do you got? Pace has come back. We got our plays. Opponent playing, of course. Tier limits. We are going to Ash Blossom this Merly. Ash Blossom negate. Hope opponent doesn't have any more tier limit plays. But they always have more plays. Opponent, triple tactics. Triple tactics is not ideal. We activate a monster effect in the main phase. So they get to steal. They're choosing to steal. We're going to synchro summon. Synchro summon into the Arian post. Opponent gets to steal it, but it will activate still. And what should I get here? 
Well, I probably should get Snopios. Snopios would be great. So I got banished Paces from the graveyard. I got banish my Leaf Fish from the graveyard. Get a Paces. That'd be great. Oh, but we're banishing Shift. Shift the right call? Hard to say. I think Snopios in retrospect would have been better. All right, opponent hitting us. Hitting us with the Arian Post. Stealing our Arian Post to make us Bright Elf. All right, passing to us. We draw. Draw on into the golden upstart, upstart goblin. All right, we get shift back. Shift back to the field. Let's activate upstart. Opponent, sprite elfing. Sprite elf gonna get back to Merly, gonna mill some random cards. You all know how it goes now. Drawing another upstart goblin. I, I don't know what the odds of this happening are, but this is the second time that upstart has drawn second upstart. All right, you let me know what the odds are, all right? Opponent milling random cards. They milled a miller. They're milling a billion cards. They're milling another billion cards with the second miller, right? Do they have a shuffler in the graveyard? Somehow, opponent has not hit a shuffler. All right, what did we hit? Nothing super relevant. I guess we got Snopios in the graveyard. Opponent milled our Deep Sea King. That is relevant. What else we got here? We got a Lifeless Leaf Fish. Okay. Opponent. Celiac. Getting a Havness to hand. We're going to activate Lifeless Leaf Fish. Banish. Shuffle cards in. Draw. Drawing. Okay. Well, we're going to draw again. And now. Hey, wait a second. We have a line. Let's summon. Dugaras. Activate Dugaras. Get the Deep Sea King. Opponent. Opponent activating Havness. Havness going to randomly mill. Milling a Sheeran. They're going to fusion summon. Okay. But we get the Deep Sea King. Deep Sea King is live. Opponent fusion summoning. Making the Kikolos. Ooh, Kikolos. Naked and afraid on the field. Are they going to fusion summon right now? Opponent adding to hand a Sheeran. That is so greedy. I don't know why the Turnless players never send and fusion summon with the Kikolos. They can send to the graveyard. Maybe they don't know. All right. Let's activate Deep Sea King. Discard a card to summon three fish to the field. Opponent activating Sullyak. Targeting the Deep Sea King. They don't know. Deep Sea King has a secret second mode. When a card effect is activated that targets it. Quick effect, tribute a fish. Negate the effect and destroy the card. Opponent, your Sullyak is negated. You cannot negate the Deep Sea King that way. Let's summon fishes to the field. One, two, three, four. Love to see it. All right, what next? We have the entire world before us. Let's summon the World Sea Dragon, Zeolantis. Let's summon White Aura, Monoceros. Monoceros. Get our Deep Sea King back to the field. All right, now we have a problem. I didn't even realize that how big of our problem was. Opponent has milled all of our fish into the graveyard. So we're going to activate thinking I'm going to get four, three fish on the field. But the only fish left in the deck was Zep. All right, that's okay. We got a backup plan. Let's make the Coral Anemone. Okay, what are we going to do next? We're going to activate Coral Anemone. We're going to get the Glennis Rip Dolphin. We're going to activate shift, and then we're going to summon Supreme Sovereign. All right. All right. All right. What do we do now? Now we activate the World Sea Dragon. That's right. Because we activated our Coral Anemone, we are locked into summoning only water monsters. When we banish all monsters on the field and resummon them back in any position, we are not legally allowed to summon non-water monsters to the field. That means our opponent's entire field, their Kikolos, their Murley, their Sprite Elf, not legally allowed to come back to the field. We get to keep our monsters. We get to attack opponent directly. Let's get in. An opponent living with exactly, exactly 2,000 life points. And what is 2,000 life points? 2,000 life points is the amount of life points we gave them by activating Upstart Goblin. I am not going to tell you how salty this makes me. Let's move on. Opponent. We get our ship back, but ship has nothing to summon. No level 12 fishes. Opponent, Sheerening. Discarding a bunch of monsters, hitting a Rhino Heart. That is very annoying. And a Havness. All right, they don't have to banish anything. And they perfectly hit the monsters needed to summon the only fusion monster that is legally allowed to be summoned with Kekalos Band. They get to summon the Kaleido Heart. Opponent summoning Kaleido Heart. Clean answer to the Supreme Sovereign. Shuffles him back into the extra deck. Opponent summoning Murley. Sending another Miller to the graveyard. Milling more of our cards. We only have six cards left. 
opponent milled a Blackwing Zephyro summoning Dugares. What are they doing? Activating Dugares to resummon a Diviner, which sends a Medora to the graveyard. This board does not seem very impressive. I'm pretty confident they could have done better than this, but doesn't matter. It's two elements. Pop two of our monsters. We got Coral Anemone. Opponent activating all their shufflers right now. Shuffling our cards back into the deck. Using two of their shufflers. They have one shuffler left in the graveyard. Opponent has one shuffler left. Okay. Let's see if we can bait it out of them. Drawing Small World. Completely useless. We have no cards in the graveyard. And we are forced to go to main phase. Forced to go from main phase to main phase to battle phase. Because of the Dugars we activated. We had to skip our main phase. Okay. Well, let's attack. Clear that Diviner. Main phase two. Try and shuffle. Try and get the shuffler. Try and get the shuffler to activate. We're going to draw a card. Shuffle our fish back. Draw a card. Opponent not activating the shuffler. Okay, we draw the worst draw we could have drawn. Super Ranger Deep Sea King. We cannot small world. We can activate Coral Anemone. Targeting paces, but opponent saved one shuffler of the three shufflers they had. So Coral Anemone is going to whiff here. Alright, well, opponent, you also have to skip your main phase one because you activated Dugaras as well. Opponent going to main phase, popping the coral, hitting us with Dugaras, summoning Murley. They can't fusion summon anything though, or they shouldn't be able to. Oh, just kidding, they got a Moo Dragon of the Swamp. I don't think that's what they wanted to make. Opponent making a Zeus with one material, which cannot activate. Uh, opponent activating in the hand a Danger. Danger Nessie discarded itself. Added Mothman. Opponent activating Mothman. Mothman. Discarding itself. Letting both players draw a card and discard a card. Okay. And I discarded Small World here. Was that the right choice? Well, we only have 15 cards left in the deck. I know almost all my fishes are gone. So I didn't think Small World was going to be activatable. If we draw Paces... If we draw Paces, we are in this game still. We can also... Right Hand Shark from the Graveyard summon itself to the field. We have potential plays. We can go into an XC4. We just have to draw something good. But opponent just did something. Complete nonsense. What did they just do? They activated Break the Destiny. Banishing this card from the graveyard to add a spell trap from your deck to your hand that lists Destiny Hero in its name. Opponent didn't have... What did they add? They added D-Force. Apparently it was still in their deck even though they've milled 34 cards. Opponent activating D-Force to add a Destiny Hero Plasma. From their deck, tributing three monsters to summon Plasma. It has almost 6,000 attack, and now all our monsters have their effects negated. Negate the effects of face-up monsters while your opponent controls them. So even if we draw something here, there is literally no out. All our monsters are negated. We can try and draw one more card, but we don't have enough fishes left in the graveyard. And we are out of here. That is it. We got plasma by the ultimate jank tier limits. Alright, well, you know what? It's our own fault for activating, activating that little draw one free card that wasn't so free, those 2,000 life points ended up mattering. All right, let's go on to one more game. Sometimes the harder cards are on your side and sometimes they are not. But this is the reason we're running, running so many spells. We got the Summoner Monk. Let's go. Summoner Monk is bait. We're gonna, we're gonna bait the Summoner Monk. Small World activating. Getting rid of Max C to add an effect failure to hand, all right? Now, Summoner Monk, switch this off to defense mode, then we have to discard a spell from hand. That's why we're running so many spells. Discard that small world, summon the Lifeless Leaf Fish, and this is the easiest way to get the combo. So if you have the ability, use small world to search for that Summoner Monk. And here it is. Same combo as before, we're going to do it. Wombo combo. Bomb at those fish. Make the world sea dragon. Synchro summon. Monoceros, get back. The big fish. Big fish back on the field. Draw a card. Shuffle our Rep Dolphin back in the deck. Uh, accidentally draw the Rep Dolphin. Super awkward. We do not want to draw the Rep Dolphin. We gotta improvise. Make an Arian post. Banish Snopios. Snopios banish paces. Come back. Synchro summon. Coral Anemone. Activate. Reset our big fish. We have no way to pop this Zeolantis though. So we're going to pass. We are going to pass. We're going to leave Snopios in hand. We're going to pass with this board. This is not ideal. This is why you definitely 100% do not want to draw 
the Rep Dolphin. All right, but we can't control the Konami Gods. We're just gonna have to play with what we got. Paces onto the field. Opponent giving us a turtle. Killing our Arian post with the turtle. Activating terraforming. Again, of course, it's tier limits again. I, I can't control it. They're all playing tier limits. Opponent, Rhino Heart. We are gonna negate with our effect Veiler. Get negated, Rhino Heart. Do not activate. Opponent, Heart Beating. To send their own primeval plant to the graveyard to activate Sullyak from hand to get a Sheeran. Opponent activating Sheeran. And they sent a Scream to the graveyard. We're just going to search for a t monster. We're just going to go for it right now. Croco Dragon. Croco Dragon going to draw us a card. We got the Snopio still. And now we can discard two cards to pop with the, with the Croco Dragon. Opponent making an Exciton Knight. Going to pop everything on the field. All right. Now we could activate our Croco Dragon, discard our two cards, and pop this, but I don't think that's ideal. I think we're just going to let it go. I want to pop the field. Opponent trying to go to battle. Let's make Snopios. Don't let him get a Zeus. Opponent is saying back row. Okay. All right. All right, Tier Elements. We got this. We got this. We may have janked ourselves out by accidentally drawing the Rep Dolphin, which we never want to draw, but we're still in this. Let's get back our shift, get back our paces. We got Upstart Goblin. Opponent activating the Exciton Nate again. We go to battle, try and fight him. No point. Opponent wiping the field the second time. But they do pop all their own back row. And Snopios, we targeted itself with its effect, which means it comes back. Back to the hand. Opponent searching with Suliak. Searching with Suliak, getting another Rhino Heart. But we get stuff back too. Snopios back to the hand. Let's activate our Upstart Goblin. Uh, draw Upstart Goblin again. I, I swear, I don't know how this keeps happening. Activate Upstart Goblin. We hit the third Upstart Goblin. I This this should not happen. This is like statistically impossible. Upstart Goblin. All right, getting us a Silent Angler. Okay, let's do some plays. Banish our fishes. Summon the Snopios. Activate Lifeless. Send us up to the graveyard. Silent Angler. Eggsy into the Stealth Kragen. Let's pop that Exciton Knight. Opponent. We're gonna get our fishes back. We're at, we got our pop with the stealth kragen. Opponent, we know you have this rhino heart. Now again, I made a mis I made the mistake again. Same mistake. You gotta wait till they send the fusion material. If you got a six on field, you wait till they send the fusion. It activates, then you you summon the Azcan. All right, big mistake. Opponent sending Marley fusion summoning. We gotta banish the rhino heart. No choice. Opponent has Reinhardt in the graveyard. They have all the tier elements that they could ever want. Macon. Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart gonna shuffle our Stealth Kragen. Let's respond. As can come back. Banish the Snopios. Pop. With the Stealth Kragen. Get that Kaleido Heart popped. It's gonna come back. But our Azcan's gonna come back. And we still got one more summon. We have the shift. All right, Snopios, come back, come back to us, come back to us. Snopios, back to the hand. All right. Opponent getting that Kaleido Heart. Kaleido Heart back. Kaleido Heart back on the field. Opponent fusion summoning. Let's activate Shift. Now we're gonna get him. We're gonna get him. They're gonna fusion summon. We're gonna banish the field. Go T of the Deep Beyond. Opponent, what are you making? Uh, opponent making Kikolos. Big mistake. Goatee of the Deep Beyond is going to banish both of their monsters. Now all the tier limit plays are gone. Rhino Heart, Kaleido Heart gone. Kikolos gone. Opponent, what can you even fusion summon anymore? Opponent, doesn't care. Shearing anyway. Discarding the Keldo. Milling a billion cards. Alright, maybe their, min, maybe their win condition is mill now. Getting a crime, but they have no card in hand. Snopios, banish some fishes. Get yourself onto the field. Opponent banishing fishes from our graveyard. Very rude. Very rude. Shuffling even more fishes back. Opponent's rudeness knows no bounds. We're going to get back our fishes though. Alright, Snopios. Sneak on in. Sneak on in the Snopios. Target itself. Opponent set in the crime that they can't activate. We draw. Royal Swamp Eel. That is actually amazing. Pace has come back. Uh, opponent shuffling right now. I don't know why they're shuffling our fish back That's not gonna help you opponent 
Shift, come back. Deepion, come back. Royal Swamp Eel. Synchro Summon. Into the Baranda Fleur. And opponent is done. We got him. Beautiful. Tierlaments, no match for the super ancient deep sea king Coelacanth. Let's go on to the deck list. All right, I'm going to explain the way this deck is constructed, the key cards, and then I'll go through the card by card. All right, so what's the secret to this deck? Most of the time, you want a summoner monk, and you want to not get hit by Max C. So we're running triple Ash Blossom, we're running one Cross Out Designate, and we're running two Call by the Graves. All these are to negate Max C. You don't want to get Max C'd. You get Max Seed, you're done. We're summoning a billion cards. So we got that one copy of Max Seed just to get named by Crossout. All right. So what's the secret? You get your Summoner Monk in hand. You have a random spell like Upstart Goblin, Foolish Burial, Amore Agreed, any of these. All right. You activate, you do the full combo. And if you don't have that, you try and get it. You activate your Amore Agreed, redraw. You activate your Upstart Goblins. You draw additional cards. And if all that fails, you still can't get the combo. You try your best to do goatee plays. That is the strategy. We don't really have much of a going second game plan. I know we got Lightning Storm. We got Max C. You can use the Ash Blossoms. Uh, we had that one Effect Veiler. But why is Effect Veiler in here? It's not actually as a hand trap. It's because it's a bridge. Ash Blossom bridges from Effect Veiler into Summoner Monk. That's why we got one copy in here. This deck is, is hilarious. Is it good? No, it is jank. This is maximum jank, all right? This big fish is the most vulnerable big fish ever. All right, but if you're going to go hard on a big fish plan, this is how you do it. Okay, now let's go through card by card. Effect Veiler, Butuniful, 1 Max C, 2 Paces, 1 Shift, 1 Zep, Triple Ash, 1 Gluttonous. Just don't draw this, all right? You draw it, you move on. Summoner Monk, we got the Royal Swank Eel. We got Goblin Berg, we got Silent Angler, we got White Stingray, we got Right Hand Shark, we got Lifeless Leaf Fish, we got Snopios, we got one Super Ancient Deep Sea King, we got Triple Upstart, we got Foolish Bear Goods, we got One for One, we got Moray, we got Lightning Storm, we got Triple Small World, we got Two Call By, we got Cross Out Designate in the extra deck. Arian Post, White Aura, White Aura, Borload, Azcan, Azcan, Ravenous, Baron, Supreme Sovereign, Go to the Deep Beyond, number 60, Stealth Kragen, Stealth Kragen Spawn, Coral Anemone, and World Sea Dragon Zeolantis. And I think this is probably the only video where I used, I think every card was used in the deck, in the gameplay, uh, in the extra deck, except this Kragen Spawn. So if you're going to build this deck, you're going to use all these cards. These are all critical to the deck working. Um, if you want to replace Upstart Goblin with something else, I mean, there's not really many good substitutes, but you do want to replace it with a spell. So you can activate your Summoner Monk. Maybe you try more copies of Moria Greed. Uh, I don't really know what else you could do that's a substitute for Upstart because you don't want to go card negative. So Upstart's really the best option here. You could run, um, if you have it, the Chicken Game. Chicken Game kind of does the same thing. But it's also a UR. Chicken Game. Chicken Game also a UR. So, you know, Konami knows uh, if you're going to get those free draws that you're going to have to pay big gems. I'm sorry. That's just the way it is. All right. Hope you liked today's video. Let me know what you think. If there's a better combo that I don't know about, message me and tell me and I'll try it out later. Uh, Cause big fish combo, it's just hilarious. You can do all sorts of wacky things with it. Uh, I think big fish three, three X. I think that's the way to go though. All right, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Hope to see you next time. And hey, you like this? You made it all the way to the end? You should subscribe. All right, have a good night.